Right, and it was kind of like a demonstration buzz then, and we just kind of messed around. After we got the win, everybody was just in here live, and then we just started doing it. It seemed like the game kind of turned when Seth came back in. Like, how much of a difference did that make? I mean, were you guys just energized or anything, or just uh, timing? Or what? I would say the game turned like when we decided we wanted to get stops because Seth was killing today. Obviously, he was. They could not stay in front of him. They couldn't guard him. So we wanted to use that, and then when he went out, we said, okay, we got to get more stops. And we went out, and we cut it down to one, and then Seth came back in, it was like down one, and then that's when it just busted wide back open, because he was already in good groove and stuff like that, and they couldn't stop him, so it was just even better, because we cut it down, we got those stops when he was out, we took care of business, and then when he got back in, we just finished him off. He scored the basket that put you guys in the lead, but then on the next possession, he came away with that huge rebound. I don't mm -hmm. think everybody... It was huge. Yeah. It was huge. Uh, he's got a lot of heart. His heart's getting bigger. Every game here, Buzz is getting on him. And he's getting on all of us, and we're just all trying to have heart, get these last wins, and try to get into the postseason and go into the postseason strong. So. You guys moved up a spot in the ACC tournament. If it, start, if it started tomorrow, you guys would be the ninth seed because you got the head-to-head -head over Florida State. Yeah. Um, what's uh, uh, how, how do you feel about the team right now? It seems like you guys, you know, you went on a little rod on the road, but you're still playing very well at home. Oh, uh, we feel we feel good right now. We just. We played bad those last two games. We didn't play our brand of basketball, and we just got back to that. We just kind of just cut out the fat and just got back to the basics, and we just went back to our brand of basketball. And we did that today, and we got the win, and we're looking to do that these next two road games. So. At the beginning of the game, I kind of started off a little slow. Uh, kind of transpired at the end of the game. Uh, Zach had a good seal, ended up to a layup. But, I mean, just overall, my team getting me open like that was just a great feeling for me. After I hit the first one, I had a lot of confidence. I hit the second one, and just felt even better. But at the same time, I'm really proud of my team because we battled the battle and came out with a good Seth seemed a little almost too fired up when he got hit. He was bleeding, coming off. Did you all just settle him down, or was that kind of what you used when he got back with all that? Just um, fired up as he was. He, he was. He was excited. He want, I mean, it meant a, a lot to us for him to come back and try to finish the game with his family. Um, we, when I was at the free throw line, he was joking because I got stitches too in my eye. So when he when he got his, he was like, I don't know if he got stitches, but when he got hurt, he was like, I made fun of you, but now I have two. So nothing really we can do about it. When did you get yours? Um, when we had a break, I was working out, and then I ended up getting hit. Okay. You, got, you started off missing those free throws, and you know you're a better free throw shooter than that. So was it kind of a redeeming to, to make the to go on the barrage down the stretch and really clinch the win? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. When I missed the first three free throws, I'm just like, come on, Justin. But <laughs> at the same time, I mean, my coaches and teammates kept uh, giving me confidence throughout the whole game. I mean, even if I'm not scoring, I just want to do whatever it takes for my team to win. So I try to sit down and play defense, got in charge, and then, uh, I mean, I just tried to do whatever it takes to win. Like I got two normal eyes right now. <laughs> How big was that stop at the end of the first half? We go into the locker room only down by eight instead of ten. Uh, it was big. Um, and including we weren't making any free throws, we really needed that stop. So um, having that stop to close the half kind of gave us momentum to the second half, uh, let us play uh, even better defensively in the second half. Talk about what it was like back here, get, getting your eyes stitched up. Um, were you able to keep up with the game? Did you have a TV back here? Did you know what was going on? I was laying back there on the floor. Um, my eyes were closed. Actually, if you can see my eyelash right now, yeah. uh, it has super glue on it, and my eye was super glued shut. So I couldn't see anything. I heard the crowd booing. I heard them cheering, and it was just like, I was like, what's going on? What's going on? And they were just were so consuming my eye. I didn't know what was happening. So they just try to cement the flaps together of your eye and, I, and go? I mean, is that yeah, I, I, just to stop the bleeding so I could play. It's pretty gruesome, dude. <laughs> Was it tough? You seemed really fired up coming off the court. Was it, was it tough to maybe settle yourself down, or did anybody try to settle you down or anything? Uh, what, 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 can you say it again? Like you, were, you, you seemed really fired up when you were coming off the court. Mm -hmm. You were bleeding it. Where was, was it tough to settle down? Uh, yeah, I tried to use it as motivation. I tried to use it in the right way, uh, use the adrenaline, and just keep fighting. Um, uh, like it was hurting, so I just wanted to keep running and get some wind in it, you know, uh, so I can keep playing. You guys moved up to number nine uh, in the seeding at the ACC tournament started today because of your win. Uh, you got a couple of very winnable road games coming up. Uh, 
So suffice to say, it's a pretty big stretch for you guys coming up. Yeah, um, I, I think yeah, that, that's correct. Um, uh, we just got to take it one game at a time. Uh, you don't want to look at it and be like, hey, we, we got a good opportunity ahead of it. You just got to take it one game at a time. Uh, you can say it's set up for us to, to do something special with them, but nobody knows what God has in plan, so we're just going to keep playing hard. Game, down the stretch. Yeah, I think uh, Seth's a really good player. I've always thought that. Uh, I think when he plays uh, with a tight handle, with a mindset to create for others, uh, and doesn't over dribble, it leads to low turnovers and it leads to a high percentage shot either for him or for our team. Final 12 and a half, outscored 34 16. Was there something that was? Largely different about that stretch. I mean, just from your perspective, what you done on the offensive end, maybe. Um, I don't know if we turned it over. That would be uh, uh, five turned it over, uh, trying to be a little too cute. That would be one of those turnovers. I think that would have been the only one. Uh, I thought defensively, the things that we were doing to change it up probably geared them down just a little bit. Uh, we were really struggling to guard them, particularly off the bounce. I thought we did a much better job in that stretch. I thought we did a better job collectively throughout the game of getting a paint touch, but against guys as good as they are, one paint touch is not a, not good enough. You got to get them into rotation a second time, so the closeouts are longer, so you can drive the closeouts. Leads to more assists. Um, so, I'm sure you'll get a. Team. I'm sure you get a better feel for it in the coming days, but. <coughs> The initial report on Chris Clark is what? Sprained his uh, left ankle. Any prognosis on that? It's just, uh, it's just part of being hurt. You know, you you tear up your right knee, odds are you're going to hurt your left leg. And he hurt, tore up his right foot and hurt his left leg. It's just a, whatever you want to call it, the atrophy of the one or the, the body imbalance of, it's just part of it. I know you're not a big barometer guy, but sitting here 14 and 13, 6 and 8, and uh, do you start to talk to your guys about maybe going to the NIT? And you know, for some programs, that might not be a big thing, but this program hasn't been in the postseason in a while. You know, do you look at that NIT as a, as a pretty uh, a nice goal for this team? I don't disagree with anything that you said. Um, I, I know this sounds cornball, but it's the truth. Uh, I just tell our guys the truth. <laughs> And if they were sitting in here, I would say the same exact thing. And if you guys were sitting in the locker room, uh, I would say the same exact thing. Uh, there would probably be too much profanity laced in it, but <laughs> that's the truth. Um, I think we're a long way away from playing in any postseason tournament. Uh, but I do think that uh, winning today at least gives us hope. And I think hope is the maybe the most valuable thing in life if not in sport. And uh, when you're rewarded for your work, uh, it gives you breath. And how it all plays out, I don't know. We're, what are we, one and six on the road? So uh, I would say that Boston College will be favored in that game on Tuesday, just like uh, Florida State was favored in this game today. What was the message behind the, the cake and the taking a bite? And People all over the locker room and the players well, there. I'm guessing that was their doing, but what, what was the message behind what you were trying to say there? Yeah. Uh, don't want to cry. Win a battle, take a bite. Win a battle, take a bite. That was the core of it. The background of it's a long story. The summary of the story is, what is the battle? And how are we gonna fight in that battle? And then uh, when we win the battle, 
it's okay to take a bite and celebrate. Coach, do you feel like you took Florida State out of their game that last part of the second half? They're so talented. We were trying multiple things in the full court and the half court. We were trying multiple ball screen coverages. Uh, we were trying to do multiple things within our zone. Uh, four comes in today in conference play shooting 19% and makes five threes, more than he's made in their previous 14 games. They had more threes made than we had free throws made at halftime. Just think they're ultra talented. And I think that if you give any good player a steady diet of the same thing, they find a way to, to hurt you. And so uh, I don't know that we were necessarily just shaking a bag up and hoping something worked. It was all things that we had worked on. But I think that we were able to get some consecutive stops there in that run that you were talking about within our zone. And the, it's just how crazy all this stuff is. The guys that were playing were not the guys that we practiced within that zone. And uh, I think sometimes, you know, when you're anxious uh, because you are not prepared, sometimes that anxiousness actually makes you better because you're over communicating and you're over trying to do things right. And that's what we were doing in that particular run defensively.